Logan, it's lovely to see you here at uh, Africa Rail. It's been some time since I last saw you. Yep. Uh, I see you brought a toy as well. But uh, what's happening at Alstom Mabunia? Thank you. Thank you for, for making time to have a chat. Uh, always good to, to catch up. I think, uh, yes, I did bring a small trinket with me. Uh, it's one of our traction converters for the Prasa project. Uh, in terms of Alstom Mabunia, it's going well. At, almost at serial production phase. We're almost at six train sets per month. So we started, if you remember, back in 2018, we started at doing the first train sets in a few months. And we've done an incredible ramp up and kept pace with our customer, Gibella, in terms of the uh, number of train sets. Um, so that business is going quite well and uh, in the next uh, few months we will be at peak production and we will run like that all the way through to 2030, so, so to the end of the contract. That's, that's incredible. So why have you brought the toy with you? Being part of the Elstom group it was also important that Abunia develops its own identity as well. So we're very much linked to Alstom, but this is the first year we're showcasing by ourselves. Yes. And we thought uh, we wanted to really bring some of the real technology that we are working with and some of the things we, we actually manufacture on site. It was too crazy to bring a bogey, okay. as you can imagine the weight and size. Okay. And so we thought the next best thing would be one of our electrical components. As you know, we are doing the, the, the compo project with, with Gibella and we've now got the next order, which takes us all the way to 2030. Uh, but what's also very interesting for Alstom Buunia is that we are entering into the service and maintenance space. And we've started doing maintenance work for the Khao train. We've also started doing uh, maintenance work for the lo Trax locomotive. That's the one that we're actually delivering to Transnet, by the way. So the, the building of the Trax locomotive, is that happening at Alstom Buunia now? No. No. Uh, so, so remember that contract was with Bombardier and assembled in Transnet in uh, Transnet Engineering in Durban. We've got four JVs now. Okay. So you've got Alstom Rolling Stock South Africa, and that's under which the uh, the Trax locomotive contract is is settled. Okay. You've got uh, their component factory, which is was in Isando. We've okay. co-located it on our site. All right. It's still under Arsa. It just makes sense from a footprint perspective. We have the space. If you remember DCD, it became TMH and we purchased it in the last year. And so we make the car body shells there and that gets delivered to Durban to do the assembly of the trains. Okay, so that facility still kind of exists. Yes. And, all right, well, that's really good to hear. Because also, I mean, what was quite astounding is that you kept the, the team as well, which I thought was... Absolutely. It, it yeah. was, I mean, the expertise was there. It was important. Yeah. Uh, but of course, Mokola is the, is the site MD of, of that facility and I'm so... She would be uh, really excited to tell you a bit more about the details around yes, that contract. But where we fit in as Alstom Abunia, we, really, we are really good at manufacturing. Yes. And uh, we want to show that our capability in service and maintenance activity. So that's why we started to make the footprint strategy into that activity. And for sure, we've, uh, we are investigating options to go back into locomotive manufacturing. And that's going to be very interesting for us. So, uh, very interesting. Well, you've got the space. Definitely got the space, yes, definitely got, got the space, space. and uh, we've allocated some space towards that footprint and uh, we're having some engagements around opportunities currently in South Africa and Africa. So from a centre of excellence perspective for you know the Alstom group, oh. you're, you're doing uh, the traction motors, you're doing some of the, you know, the wiring and the looming and the, the end bits, yep. <laughs> the end bits. End under frame. Thank you. <laughs> Um, any other thing, anything else you've added to that capability? So for the Prasa Compo project, just to, to be clear, we do the mechanical and electrical components. Okay. On the electrical side, we do the traction converter, we do the auxiliary converter, we do the cubicles, and we do the looms and harnessing as people may know it as. And then on the mechanical side, we're doing the bogies, do the frame and we do the bogey assembly. And we do the end under frame. It's like yes. the chassis of the train. Yes. And of course, we do the passenger communication system. So nothing's changed. There's nothing more to add into that portfolio. It's just that we now decided from a footprint strategy that we needed to get into what is a very interesting market, which is the service and maintenance and overall market. And uh, we made the first steps uh, earlier this year. Okay. And uh, when you do come to the site, it'll be interesting to show you yes. what we set up. It's a dedicated facility for the service and maintenance business Okay. and uh, hopefully in the next two years or three years we talk about the locomotive manufacturing that we want to get into. Well you know that's quite exciting in its own right and then are you thinking about diesel, electric or hydrogen or battery? Look the technology we have today is electric 
uh, for you. sure. Um, but we understand that the market, South African market and the African market needs uh, other solutions. Um, and and uh, we're having discussions about how we could support around that. But uh, today, for sure, our expertise sits in the in okay. the electric uh, in electric space. Well, I'm looking forward to coming to see. Thanks for taking the time to chat to me. Thank you, and and uh, we'll meet again. Thank you.